Burger Guard Rippy over here in beautiful Harmony, Ohio, cruising the antique mall, doing my fourth and final video of the mall. I'm in the back, I'm making my way out the front door here. Here's a uh, stamp steel Miller fuel truck. And it's about a $500 truck. It's, it's, uh, the cab's in chrome. Not sure, but it's in a big coin collection. And there, there's a massive uh, new in the box models from AMT. They're all AMT. We're back in the corner of the store. We're, we're just going to face this side and probably won't walk in any of these. Pretty nice phone there. That's 65 bucks. The beginnings. And that's why we're just seeing what everybody sees. And to get the deal, you need to walk in and look, right? So I think we're back where the carousel horses used to be. And then the, each day there would be one less. These are wings that go clear back in. And to, to keep uh, my visit here short, I'm just testing the waters today. I'm not going to be going back here. But in any of them this is a $900 farm table there it's, it's not a good 10 foot and um, the um, industrial arts looking table the wood and a uh, Toledo scale 200 pound one A hammered copper piece there. A deer skin for something or other that's been finished out. There's a, a really good gun one up here on this side used to be. The pencil sharpeners. Like 15 bucks a piece. That's a Elvis Presley plan. Some more Charlie Brown back there. The fiberglass chairs. Institutional. Okay, they moved the bear over here. He was on the other side. What do you think, three? And you, you know, I mean, it, I guess he couldn't stand up on his own, so they put the piece of driftwood in there. Oh. Pretty little black bear. He's a two. It's a male. <laughs> they moved him from one side to the other. I'm pretty sure it's the same one. But I did, I, I lost a lot of my footage from the, that was last year when we were here. Oh wow, that looks kind of familiar, like out of a movie. This, something they used for curing their onions in the old days or something. A whole row of Tonka trucks, a still for 300. Still parts. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's some stuff back in here. Um, this one's just drawing me in. Another fiberglass chair. Kind of the teacher's one there. And uh, beautiful cast iron here. And the tobacco cutter on the bottom on the carpet. Some tubs and uh, cookware. Yeah, pretty cool. Good to see ya. Look at the Pecos horse back there. I'm sure this is cheap. It's only 500. 185 pounds. It says it's English, but, you know. 
There was a story about why they put them in their ships and brought them over here to like hold the ship down or something. Mm -hmm. Be empty, empty one way, loaded the other, so they get another product. But yeah, 700 on the Pegos. Looks kind of rough too. It's been touched up, but that's a $700 one and two and a quarter on the Goodyear. And another anvil here made out of a railroad track. He's at 230 on it. Is that what it says? 60 bucks. Okay. The tables are 230. And this is the uh, they use them for bank baking. It was a cake out of a lamb, but people were poor, and when their baby died, they would put concrete in there, and they they put the lamb on the grave. So here's a whole set of oil. I, I don't see these very often, but he's a 300 at uh, eight bottles in there. Kind of neat. He's got it all together, kind of pretty well matching. Yeah, that Pegos horse dropped me back in there. Uh, that Coleman back here, I would really like to went in. There's one with guns up here. I'll check out the Texaco at 100. Something Dakota. North Dakota. Oh wow. Nice little crossway radio there. Oh wow. Oh, you want to See here here's the here's the other wing. Wing seven. And yeah, I mean we'd be here. You you'd really need the cafe open then. The world's largest antique mall here, guys. No, no exaggeration. I think they got tired of building. To, to, to get a booth here, you have to get on a waiting list. And I would want to be out here versus back there. And the other antique malls are there because they're cheaper, but they're... Um, I couldn't even shop there today. They might as well not even be there if I can't go in. You can't treat customers badly and expect them to give you business. So that's just okay. Here's the gun one. And then you call the dealer when you become friends with them and work a price out. Seen quite a few of these here today, and that one's at 500. It comes with the bus. That's probably how it should be to have. Yeah, they have it displayed right. He's really improved on his booth. But yeah, I could do a whole video on this one booth and. Knives. Not sure. Some Native American uh, swords. Even a baseball glove up there. Um, just but quickly. I'm not seeing any bombs so far. Well, he, here's a nice uh, shell. Artillery round. A $300 one. It's been chromed. Some kind of a really whimsical thing here more swords up here some little boot guns and a little cannon canteen a case collection in here that's a $300 case over in the corner a thousand dollar early Miller Brothers Navy and a thousand a Maytag engine
59 on that crazy looking light. And that case was wild that blue finger or whatever fishing tackle for 21 or 200 there's a special knife at 485 dollars early 1800s and it became the one of the bowie knife maker companies yeah i remember this booth it's, with the bust. Yeah. Can't forget seeing that guy once you see him. Fifteen hundred on him, I think. And six fifty on the stand. This one here is at two. Beautiful bronze. Yeah. Some very cool stuff there. Uh, 275 on a snowshoe. No, three and a quarter. Hanging in the rafters. I wonder what they want on this one. Cause uh, have we seen these before? It's at 500 bucks on on that vessel that's hanging. It's like for nitroglycerin or something. But yeah, some very special antiques in here. This is the last booth. Um, 200 bucks on the, this guy. Under 95 bucks and it's yours. Pretty unique looking. Looks like it's pretty well there. That's kind of wild looking, isn't it? I'm not sure what it is. That's why I said that, but... Early country cupboard, 500 bucks. Been, been used quite a bit. There's a bake of light right here. Check out this lamp. Is, is it going to show up? Uh, it needs to be back for the a paper type of uh, artistic lamp. But I was kind of going towards this guy at 300. At 20 bucks, 20 bucks on them. Large Baker Light Radio at 12 bucks. AM and FM, RCA Victor. 20 bucks, there you go. So, here in the last booth, or the first one, depending on how you want to figure. Uh, something from Sears down there, 1030. Some sports memorabilia. There's a camel from smoking. Is that a movie machine? Maybe uh, some sheds. Uh, a bass. And a walleye at 100. 75 on the bank. Toy. You know, I haven't seen a Jack in a Box for a while. Did be on him. A robot over here from River Shack at 50 bucks. Yeah, he's a horse groomer. 35 on the oil. Here's a little TV set for 50 bucks. Montgomery Ward. Yeah, 55 on the camel and some more guy stuff over here and uh, it's been fun visiting just a small portion of the antique mall here in Harmony, Ohio. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.